Now we are going to study about the dependence of Fermi factor on temperature and the effect on the occupancy of energy level. There are totally three different cases are there. Case one is probability of occupation when the energy is less than Fermi energy at zero Kelvin. When the temperature is zero, energy is less than Fermi energy is applied to all the energy level below Fermi energy. So let's consider the expression of Fermi factor that is f of e is equals to 1 by e to the power of e minus ef by kt plus 1. So when energy is less than Fermi energy this will become e to the power of minus infinity. So in e to the power of minus infinity is nothing but 0. So therefore f of e is equals to 1 when energy is less than Fermi energy. So hence f of e is equals to 1 means the energy level is certainly occupied here. That means there will be 100% probability of occupation takes place. Therefore, when the temperature is 0, all the energy level below the Fermi level are occupied. So that is the first case. Next one is case 2. Case 2 is probability of occupation for energy is greater than Fermi energy. So energy is greater than Fermi energy is applied to all the energy level above Fermi energy. So consider the same expression here. So here when energy is greater than Fermi energy it will become e to the power of infinity. So e to the power of infinity is nothing but infinity. So 1 by infinity is 0 for e is greater than ef. That means when temperature is 0 all the energy level above the Fermi level are unoccupied. That means there will be 0% probability of occupation takes place. So by the about two cases the variation of f of e for different energy values becomes a step function which is shown in this figure.